Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to learn this pixel stitch effect in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, we have to isolate the model from the background. Here I have done that, you can see here. And then, select the single column marquee tool from the toolbar. I am using Photoshop CC 2019. If you are using older version, you can find it here itself. Now click once. It will select single column pixels. Here you can see that. We need only selection on model. So deselect remaining part. For that, go to marquee tool and enable subtract from the selection. Then deselect the remaining part like this now you have to duplicate that further hit ctrl j make sure that our model layer is selected now hit ctrl j here you can see that that single column pixel is duplicated now enable the transformation by hitting ctrl t if you are using Photoshop CC 2019, hold the shift while stretching. If you are using older version, no problem, you can stretch it without holding shift. You have to stretch it till end of the canvas, otherwise we will not get that circular effect. Then hit enter. Now go to filter, distort and choose polar coordinates. Here we have two options, rectangle to polar polar to rectangle. We have to select rectangle to polar. Here you can see that circular effect. Then hit OK. Here you can see that circular effect. Place this layer underneath the model layer. Then enable the model layer. Then make some adjustments. Now we have to erase the remaining part. For that apply the layer mask and choose erase tool from the toolbar. Make sure that your foreground color is white and hardness to 100%. Then erase the remaining part like this. Sorry, I forgot to tell one thing. Before applying this effect, make sure that your canvas is in square. Otherwise, we will not get that perfect circular effect when you apply polar coordinates. Now we have to add some shadows. For that, create new layer. Then choose brush and make sure that your foreground color is black. Then hardness to 0, then opacity to 10%, then just paint like this. That's it guys, that's it for today's tutorial. Next week we are going to learn one click selection. I hope it will be helpful. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit bell icon to get notification. Bye bye.